Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's a gatefold card, part of my fancy fold week. To make this card, we're going to be using the stamp sets Wonderful Mom Romance for this flower image. For the sentiment, that's from a retired set, long retired set. And I wanted a big happy birthday, so I'm using Sky's the Limit and just using that happy birthday sentiment. Um, the dies are from Wonderful Romance, so we're using the label die. Also this fancy edge die, again. I didn't see that. And the flower die. Take that out. So if I put these over here, the cards set we're going to card we need, and I'm changing to Mango Melody. So you need a piece that's eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, a piece. Um, what is this? This is three and three eighths by five and five eighths. That is to cut out the leaves. This bit. We'll just cut that out each end and then cut it off, trim it off. You need two pieces of one and seven eighths by five and five eighths, and a piece of scrap for the flower and the sentiment and then a piece of white for the inside so we'll sit them now we're going to stamp first do our stamping put these over here out the way put that up there so i know what i'm doing right we're going to do our stamping stamp the flower and the sentiment and then we'll bring the big shot up and cut things out. So stamp the flower. That's nice. Get the cloth and clean it. Right, and now for the sentiment. I'm just going to stamp that there, and I've done it upside down, but it doesn't matter. I've got a squeaky chair again. Every time I move, the chair squeaks. <laughs> Right, put that just one side to dry. Right now, then bring up the big shot and move you out a little bit. Right, first of all, we shall emboss. Let's emboss. We're going to use the embossing folder, the leafy ones, I forgot what it's called. It is a stamping up one. Let's see here. No stamping up made in China. And for this, we're going to stamp the two uh, one and seven eighths inch pieces. Not stamp, emboss. I'm just going to emboss them. So we need to remove. Oh, remove the plate. Put that in. And emboss them. And there they are, lovely embossed. 
put them to one side, get rid of that, we don't need that, put the plate back and then with this bit we're going to cut this out. Just put that evenly and straight and then tape it down. And I'm putting it right to the edge and I'm going to run it through and run it back and without even looking at it I'm going to flip my two plates over and run it through again. bits out later. Right. Clear them off. Turn it round. Just clean my die. Because we're going to stick this on the other end. Right, and we're going to cut that as well. Do the same, flip it. Oh, don't want that one. Flip it over and run it through again. And I've got lots of little yellow pieces next to me, <laughs> or orange, or whatever colour you want to call this. Right, that's cut through lovely, so we'll. off and get rid of this because we don't need it again. Oh yes we do. Got to cut the flower out and the sentiment out. Try and get rid of them. Right. Put our flower down here. sentiment I don't think that's going to fit yeah just like that I think I'm going to have to cut that separate I've stamped it too close so We'll cut the flower out first. I'm getting rid of all these bits that are up the side of me. side and 
and then pop this. Now I do want this to be at the bottom and the side so that the flower can rest on that half of the sentiment. Alright, put that there. Now we can get rid of this. Right, what have we got? The flower. Very nice. And the sentiment. Just take out the bits that don't want to come out. Let's come out like that. Smooth you back down. We got that, and then there's this one. Just clean my die at the side of me. that cleaned. And that's that one cleaned. She says and still finds bits. So they can all go back. Sentiment one. In there. Right. Let's just get rid of all these last bits. As I've used my brush on this, it'll be quicker. That's that bit cut out. Right. Where's my bin? Let's get rid of all this. My chair squeaking. Every time I move, it squeaks. <laughs> right, that's that mess tidied up. Now then, I shall bring my guillotine up. Because I want to cut these off. So I'm just leaving like an eighth of an inch, no, yeah, about a quarter of an inch on the edge there. And do the same this side. So we have it a quarter of an inch either side. Missed that one and that one. And they will go on like that. Right, so that's them. We'll put them to the side. Let's concentrate on colouring this in 
and then we'll put the card together so I want what colour is this? This is Mango Melody and a bit of Calypso Coral oh no, Pumpkin Pie, that'll do nicely and then I want Soft Seafoam and Dark Dark Seafoam and Dark Old Olive and then a bit of pink pirouette. So I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper and with the pink pirouette I'm just going to colour in these little leaves, petals, flowers, whatever they are. I think they're leaves but I want them pink. I'm also going to colour these two in pink, that one, and then there's one here. So that can go away. Right, the flowers, I'm going to colour them all in in. Mellow Mango Yeah, Mango Melody I can't believe we're in March already. Mind you, by the time you see this, it'll be middle of March. Right. Now with the Light pumpkin pie, just squish the middle and then just go round the top just to add a little bit of colour round the top of the flowers. Without going over the edge. Talking to myself, don't worry, I'm not cracking up. Right, with the dark sea foam, I'm going to go around the edges of the leaves. Just roughly go around the edges. Right. 
And with the old olive and the brush end, all I'm going to do is just I'm going to have to use the other one because this nib's gone. You don't want straight lines. There we have it. Just colour them in like that. Oh, that's the way I've coloured it in. I don't need that no more. And we just need light, soft suede just to colour the stalks in. We'll do that. Right, we've done that, and now we shall put our. Co oh no, we've got to do this. Right, to get a complete fold on this, you need to measure it before you score it. So what I did, I measured it two and one sixteenth, and marked it at both ends, two and one sixteenth. Right, I'll bring up the school scoreboard. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. school tool and then mark where it says two and one sixteenth just you can't see that can you 
just put that into any channel so that you can score it down at 2 and 1 16th just like that score sitting down properly so with a rubber just rub off the pencil marks Fold it, we want to fold the burnish. And, then, and that meets lovely. Boss bits, we want to stick them down, but first of all, we'll stick these on top of there, just right on the edge of them. right on the edge so it turns out like that quite pretty isn't it Put a bit of glue on this didn't want to sit that will sit on there like that. I'll do the same with this one. Obviously this is going to be upside down this one. And that will go that side. So let's stick these on. Stick on extra glue. this up so that we can get them even and the shit again 
And there's shit again. Right, to put these on, I put them on with, I'm going to stick this one a little bit higher. Try and do it so that that big leaf goes in the middle, that's it. And I'll stick these on. I put them on with um, uh, dimensionals. But first, I glued this bit on here. looks quite nice. So let's grab some dimensionals. Need large and small. So we don't want to go past that side, we just want to stay on this side. Asking you if it feels all right. <laughs> In the middle of that leaf, we need something. Just there. All right. Take the backings off. Really put the lid on my glue. Right. That's the front of our card done. For the inside, all I did was grab my inside bit, got the trio punch, and with the flowery bit, I cut out each corner. Just stuck that inside like that. A smaller bit of card, but never mind, still works. And there we have our card. No, we haven't. We need to put some gems on it. On this one, I put gold, and I think on this one, I'm going to put clear. What did I do? I put a 
I'll just spread them all over. Oh, I've already picked one up. One. Two, I think I'll put three each side. Three. And three this side. One. Two. Three. There you have it. Hope you like them. Three beautiful cards that won't stay shut. If you like my videos, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Comment below if you like them or you want to know anything else about them. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.